Well, here we are again, aren't we, mate? Welcome, man. You did that I've at one time. Not, it doesn't, it's not a it thing. Is, uh, it, it, it definitely is. But enough of that. Welcome back to another week of festivity. Festivity, I think. Like festivals. Uh, I think that strictly um, relates to Christmas. I understand that it usually is used around Christmas. It probably doesn't have to be used at Christmas. Is that I, think, I think it's got that connotation. It does, but, you know, festivity. Okay, welcome back to another week of fun. I'm Luca, this is Oscar. This is The Hoedown. First of all, I want to say welcome to everyone new. What was it? 400 and something new subscribers this month. Yeah, mental. 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 That's literally nearly... A sixth of our entire subscribers. It's sort of nearly a thousand. And nearly half of them. Nearly half of them. Nearly half of them. We've got three and a half thousand. So, so a seventh. Honestly, 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 what you want to take away from that is we're very grateful for you being here and we hope that you're here to stay. So without further ado, I think we'll just get into the video. Yeah. We're, if you're new, welcome. And if, if you're already here and you're old, welcome back. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And just know we are appreciative. Welcome to the whole We are family. appreciating. Let's get like hoeing, shall we? Now, what did you say? We're what appreciative. You and what did I say? Appreciative. Yeah, we're appreciative. Appreciative of, of everything that they're doing. Do you need to no. say that in addition? No, I just said, just know that we're appreciative. And then, let's get hoeing. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? Yeah? Yeah. Alright, Oscar, so today I've got some shower thoughts from people that sent them to us in our DMs because I just thought they are some quite good ones, actually. Okay. From Megan Rose. Hello, Megan Rose. It is what it is, it's one of them. But I just thought it was worth saying. Why is it that you bite down on something when you can't move your upper jaw? Technically, you're biting up. <laughs> you don't nod when you bite. I think it's a very fair point. It's a very fair point. No one can move their upper jaw. Alligators. Alligators? I think alligators are, yeah, I think they're one of the only. Maybe? Might be an absolute lie. You don't like... Yes, I f***ing do, Oscar. <laughs> Excellent, really. Thank you for that, Megan. Excellent, to me, would be an exaggeration, but it is it's quite nice. This is from Anna Merrill. Thank you, Anna. Hello, Anna. Every time you clean something, you're making something else something dirty. Else dirty. Nothing can ever, ever be, be clean, clean on the planet. There's all that, that on the, if on Earth, you could never clean everything. Good. How? Jet wash. But how do you clean the jet wash? You just need three. Triangle. But then that jet wash isn't cleaning the thing that needs yeah, cleaning. Yeah, you clean that and then you set it up on the tripod. You, <laughs> you clean the last thing on the planet that needs cleaning and then put it on a little tripod, shoot it against another tri one, and then you get an infinity <laughs> of cleaning. But then the water would dry and leave little water droplet marks. Oh, so that's sort of clean. Well, clean, yeah, uh, clean. Shit, man. Shit, man. <laughs> Shit, man. Nothing on the planet will ever be clean. No, everything on the planet will never be clean. Yeah. I think even if you were able to physically clean everything on the planet, we'd still be left with your dirty mind. Uh, next one, please. Right, this one's quite a nice one. We've probably made a life-saving decision or action in our life without ever knowing it. Yeah, have uh, you? Uh, is it probably? <laughs> probably not that probably, probable. Maybe. It's probably not unlikely. Think how many people you come in contact with and you, like, even, I don't know, giving someone just a random bit of advice which you just think, oh yeah, I'd probably do this. It's not just talking about, like, helping that person. It's, it's also, like, for example, turning left in your car instead of turning right, going the back route. And maybe avoiding a car crash or something like that. Yes. But that's 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 just life, you isn't just it? That's know. just a series of events. It's that probably is. pretty likely that you've chosen to do something for one reason or another. And that's resulted in someone else not being in an accident or something like that. It's one of those... How, you, how are you going to know? Li no one's going to know. Final one. To be fair, this is a deep one because I can't work it out in my head. Okay. And you're going to say we've done it in a video before. But we haven't done something similar. Okay. At some point, the oldest person on earth existed with a whole completely different set of human beings yes oh got i got it all of a sudden it's just made sense in my head yeah because he was the youngest the youngest so he was the so he's now grown up you know and now all of a sudden he's the only person with that population he's not the only person with that population he's the only person that's experienced a complete new set of people he, yeah there, there'll be an overlap where he has been in two different entire world population or she. that's mental actually or it. they they where they have been they. in a completely yeah. new set it's actually disgusting that you only said shit 
that is mental actually i kind of wish i kind of wish it took us longer to get there though well this is this hey this is my thing right we're getting too good at this we are we actually <laughs> at the are. beginning we would have been there like oh uh, and we would have been like timelining uh, hey siri sort of thing but now sh are we getting too clever for this honestly this show has made me cleverer and you like that did you I laughed for your doing, really. Um, yeah, yeah. Comment down below if you think this show's made you cleverer. I definitely know a lot of things which I never would have ever found out or known unless I did this. Which I guess is why we're about to announce we have got a new slot on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> called Surprise Me. It wouldn't be a Surprise Me. What would it be called? Exploring the World. Understanding the Planet. Everything you didn't think you needed to know. Or ev uh, <laughs> everything that you are glad you now know but you didn't actually need to know. Yeah, on the planet that'd be it <laughs> anyway welcome back to this week i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you're looking forward to this week coming i've just noticed that little quad photo you've got up there mm. really nice thanks uh can we show it nah but it's public now isn't it because it was made public on your instagram wasn't it so i guess we could show that that little quad photo if we wanted to nah <laughs> no we can't get the f out of my life for a punch <laughs> in the face <laughs> Um, tomorrow's video is a true or false. Oscar's got a bunch of true or false facts and he, I have to decide whether they're true or false. So that's, that's a bit more exciting. Thank you all for coming. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Love you all. Love you all. Arrivederci, our little hoes. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend?